The issue with December 21st of 2012 and the predicted disasters that some folks think will come probably started with the so-called end of the Mayan calendar. Their calendar does not end on December 21st, 2012. It's just the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. It's just like on December 31st, our calendar comes to an end, but a new calendar for the next year begins on January 1st. Nibiru is supposed to be a planet that's four times the size of the Earth that's going to get very close to the Earth and cause all kinds of disasters. So this enormous planet is supposed to be coming toward Earth. But if it were, we would have seen it long ago. And if it were invisible somehow, we would have seen the effects of this planet on the neighboring planets. Thousands of astronomers who scan the night skies on a daily basis have not seen this. And then there's folks who think that NASA astronomers are actually hiding this information so as to prevent panic from the populace. Can you imagine thousands of astronomers who observe the skies on a nightly basis keeping the same secret from the public for, for several years? Some folks think there's going to be a solar storm associated with December 21st of 2012. Now, solar storms do exist. The sun's activity goes through a cycle. It reaches a maximum every 11 years. The next solar maximum, when you might expect enhanced solar activity, will take place actually in May of 2013. It's supposed to be a fairly mild solar activity maximum, and there's no evidence that there's going to be any solar storms. And then we have planetary alignments. There's a planetary alignment, the sun, the earth, and some of the planets are aligned, and this is going to cause some tidal effects on the earth that are going to be catastrophic. Well, first of all, there are no planetary alignments in December of 2012. And even if there were, there are no tidal effects on the uh, earth as a result. The only two bodies in the solar system that can affect the, the earth's tides are the moon, which is very close, and the sun, which is massive and also fairly close. But the other planets uh, have a negligible effect on the Earth. One of the myths for December 21st, 2012 is that the Earth's axes are going to somehow shift. The rotation axis can't shift because of the orbit of the Moon around the Earth stabilizes it and doesn't allow it to shift. The magnetic field does shift from time to time, but the last time it did it was 740,000 years ago and it doesn't uh, do that sort of a shift, but every half a million years or so. There's no evidence that it's going to happen in December, and even if it were to be shifting, it takes thousands of years to do so. And even if it did shift, it's not going to cause a problem on the Earth, apart from the fact that we're going to have to recalibrate our compasses. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Since the beginning of recorded time, there have been literally hundreds of thousands of predictions for the end of the world, and we're still here.